Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. My name is Lindy from the Abington Community Library and for today's cooking tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a real quick and easy homemade granola. So what we're going to do, we're going to get started. You only need a bowl and a spoon. I'm going to use my mixer just because I have one, but you definitely do not need a mixer. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the wet ingredients. Uh, the first thing I'm going to add is my oil. So I'm using olive oil because that's what I have on hand. So we're going to use a half a cup of oil. You can also use canola oil with, um, or any other oil, coconut, olive oil. We're also going to do a half a cup of honey next. So our honey, this is actually from Endless Mountain Apiaries. So local honey is great, but whatever honey you have, um, you're just going to use a half a cup. That's going to go into your bowl next. All right. So we have our honey. You're going to do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And also you're going to do some salt, half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we're going to mix that up. And then the last ingredient that we're going to use is our old-fashioned rolled oats. So we have three cups of old-fashioned rolled oats. Granola is very forgiving. Um, if it seems a little bit too wet, you can throw some more oats in. Let's see. Okay, so we're next we're going to check it. All right, that's all mixed. And the last step is we're going to add those oats. So again, you can mix it by hand. Today we're mixing the three cups of oats into the wet ingredients that we've just mixed together. And we'll give that a couple more seconds. Okay. Now with your granola, a lot of times people enjoy putting um, raisins or chocolate chips. We're going to do that last. You're going to bake your granola. You don't want to put in the raisins because if you bake them in the oven they'll get too hard or if you put your chocolate chips in the mix now they'll just melt all over the pan. So this is the consistency of the granola before it's baked. Your last step you're going to put it on a cookie sheet ideally with parchment paper. Um, and in these times, I do not have parchment paper, so we're just going to do a quick, we're going to do some canola oil on there. And we're going to add that granola right to the pan. And you're going to spread it out. We're going to bake this on a low heat, so I'm going to bake it on a preheated oven, 300 degrees. About halfway through cooking, you're going to um, you're going to use a spatula and kind of flip it around, turn it a bit. So this is what it's going to look like before it goes into the oven. So we're going to put this in. Again, it's on 300. We're going to cook that for about 20 minutes. This is going to be your end product. You're going to have granola. It's going to be great on yogurt, or you can even have it as cereal uh, itself. Uh, with milk in the morning and you can feel free to add any uh, other ingredients such as raisins or chocolate chips. So I have, hope you've enjoyed uh, learning how to make easy homemade granola. Again, uh, check out all of our videos on the Abington Community Library Facebook page or our YouTube channel as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.